me guys, it's me, Reggie. And welcome back to another special reaction episode of We Best Love Fighting Mr. Suckert. That's right, my Juicy Judy's and Tantalizing Tommies. We are approaching the finish line of We Best Love Season 2. Girl, the shit is right there. It's within arm's reach. Which is a good thing and a bad thing because on one hand, I'm very excited to see where we go with Dr. Daddy and Elle's storyline. But on the other hand, bitch, our days are numbered when it comes to the shooting and shit day content. Which is what I would have said, girl, but it was just recently announced that the We Best Love team is truly the gift that keeps on giving, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we are seeing a re-release of special episodes of We Best Love number one for you. So we're getting our boys shooting and she day and they love all over again, bitch. And, 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 that shit is coming out tomorrow. So bitch, Judy's, Tommy's, pack your bags, get your shit together because you already know we're here for it. And speaking of other BL releases, a new Korean drama has also been announced, bitch. So the new show is gonna be called Light On Me, which is gonna be released on the 29th, I believe. So, what y'all think? So I did put a poll over on my community tab and you guys have all seemed to be gearing towards, you know, Lovely Writer for our next reaction series, which bitch, y'all know a bitch has been waiting to watch that shit, so. Taste. We here, we here, we here. Y'all know we love covering the Korean dramas, but after just like the major disappointment that was November Moon's Wedding. Bitch, that shit was whack, okay? I'm like, bitch, do I wanna die face first into another Korean drama? I mean, I know the short EPs are like easier for me to watch and get out for you guys, so please, bitches, please. I just wanna thank y'all for your patience in advance, because y'all know your boy do this by himself. So watching Lovely Writer for an hour and editing. Please. So yes, let me know you guys, do y'all want to see, you know, a, a reaction to the new Korean drama? Do y'all want me to just wrap it up as a review? Because y'all know me, I'm willing to watch any and everything. Big Brother Fujin here is willing to sit through the trash and the garbage so that my babies, my Judy's, my Tommy's, my darlings, so that y'all ain't got to go through that shit. But if y'all want to suffer with your boy, let me know down below. Are we watching Light On Me or are we reviewing it? Y'all be the judge. Also, couple more things. I haven't said this before, but I just want to make sure I say it to get it out there before Pride is over. A special motherfucking shout out to my favorite ship, Max and Tool Bitch. But I just want to shout out the fact that on my timeline anyway, Max and Tool are the only Thai BL actors that have posted anything about Pride. But to my knowledge, everybody, if not mostly, Everybody recognizes Pride Month in the month of June. And I know Thailand does. I mean, them niggas posted about it themselves. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just saying, when your entire career is based off the depiction of gay ass motherfuckers, you can at least tell a gay motherfucker, happy Pride. I'm just, I'm just saying. It don't make me feel no type of way, but I'm just saying I follow a lot of the girls. I follow Z Saint, Mew Golf, Jimmy, Tommy, all these hoes. And on Instagram anyway, nobody. Bright, not Lynn, not no fucking soul. Not even Shuey and Sheeta, not even same in you. Nobody has posted anything about Pride except for Max and Tool. So I just want to shout them out because they the baddest, period. And also, you guys, one last thing before we get started. I just have to shout out again, you bitches, my bitches. Because we, you guys, just hit 2,000 subscribers. And I just, oh my God. Thank you, guys. Another gang of motherfuckers joining the Fujin fam. Welcome, bitch, if you're new around here, hey. If you're not, hey, bitch. Just... Thank you guys. I'm excited, enough with the chit chat. I got all the shit we need to say. So to wrap it up, we got special episodes of We Best Love Number One for you. We got another Korean drama, so let me know down below do y'all wanna see me review it or react to it. Max and Tool is that bitch. And yeah, we a bunch of bad bitches. 2,000 deep in this mug. Period, bitch. But per usual, y'all already know the real tea. Go ahead and hit that sub button for more BL Fusion and Taku BL related weed content. Hit that like button so you know that you guys want more. We best love fighting Mr. Second as we have a special episode to react to. Well, I'm not sure. Episode 6 over here says 40 plus minutes, bitch. So this might be the true ending with the special episode 7 like last season. 
But anyway, bitch, let me know. Do you want to see episode seven? Smack that like, bitch. And finally, hit it up with that triple c -c -c combo breaker. And ring that little bell so you know exactly where the bitch goes live. <sighs> Repeat after me. Let's cut the chit chat and get straight to the show. But before we do, cue a bitch intro. <laughs> Yes, like, come on with it. Give me the real tea. What's wrong with the little nigga? I mean, we know what's wrong with him, but like, what the fuck? Okay. So hot. Baby, why you still, why you trying? He let you fucking bite the shit out of him and he still tried to help you with the gay niggas and you talk about go away. You don't mean that shit? Go get him. Well, don't go get him because... You know you're a little crazy, so you calm down first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, but I was really hoping episode six wasn't gonna be like the finale, but this shit is really like 48 minutes, so. Why are you, why are you playing? Like, I just, I need to know, like, like clearly this is like a battered and bruised baby. Like, he ain't just this way just for nothing. Like, it's part mental, part like product of your environment. Because how else would he got involved in some gang-like activity like that if he won't, you know what I'm saying, with some very pressing, fucking, you know, problematic, problematic-ass circumstances? Do you not see this fine-ass doctor in front of you, bitch? I would've... Here you go. Here you go. Right, get the fuck up then. Exactly, sit your ass there and get that motherfucking tender love and care, bitch. So yeah, like, like yeah, I mean, like what what drew you to him? Like, come on, give me something. One day, that guy just showed up. Oh, like the trouble I can't get rid of. Ooh, so who said that? I can't push him away no lie to myself anymore. Okay, is it L? I should have stayed out of it. Oh, no. Oh, so it is Dr. Daddy saying it's from his point of view, bitch. I can't have the feelings anymore. No, it said... Just let it be cute. I don't want Dr. Daddy to be a creeper, but he in high school, so he a creeper, Lord Jesus. Come on with it. Get your ass up, nigga, and let's go. Why the fuck you want to be here anyway? Why? Grab his ass, snatch his ass right up out of there. <laughs> Bitch, fuck y'all. How about girl, girl? Go mind your business, best friend. Just go mind your business. First off, if Daddy, if Doctor Daddy grab his ass, I'll be like, Ooh, okay, nigga, damn, just. That would have turned me on a little bit. Now look at his face. Like, I'd be making him mad on purpose just because that shit look good to me. Is that toxic? Maybe. Like, yes. I would, ooh, yes. Pick me up, bitch. Grab my ass. Take me out the motherfucking vicinity. That shit we like to see. That's real daddy like behavior. <sighs> Can baby girl not look any more beautiful? The costumes, the suits. Right? That's between them. <laughs> exactly, baby. Why, why we talk about them? We at home. Ain't nobody here, bitch. Let's do what we came to do. I mean, that too. Just turn your face down to the... You know? Oh. 
Oh, you need some sleep? Let me put this pussy on you, bitch. Call me NyQuil. Have you out like a light? They just, oh. Brain coming out of there. What's your What? Dr. Daddy, do you live there or something? What's going on? I'm making sure he ain't do no self harm and no shit like that. Or was he just suspecting him? You know. You go on the show. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck would you tell him that? So he's just emotionless. Mm. Oh, so you can't. So he's a functioning. Damn, not you like shutting him down like bitch, your 12 years just felt like 12 years to me. You don't believe that shit. You don't believe that motherfucking shit either, bitch. Bro, you too fucking fine. I'm gonna bag your ass, nigga. Like, fuck that. The fuck you mean? You over here taking care of me, talking about you don't care, bitch. Yes, you do. Come get this pussy. Now that he's legal pussy. Let me just say that. Nigga, you don't believe that. Right. And you treated his wounds because you didn't have to do that. Feel bad for the little nigga now. Tell a fucking lie.
First of all, as fine as you is, I know you did something, so you just be fucking people just to be fucking. You don't feel nothing for nobody. Like, you lying. Like, you lying. Not him giving him a whole shower and shit, then just gonna lock him out, bitch. What are you supposed to fucking do? Stop lying to yourself, boy. The fuck? This is look, he's symbolism. He's in the shadows while he's in the light. He's trying to break down those walls. Let some lights in for Dr. Daddy. Symbolism. Oh, girl. Oh, I felt that on the back of my neck. Oh, is that mama? Is she on the screen? Ah! Ah! Bitch, you blessed it. How you not see her right there? Oh, look at mommy. It's right, Mama. We already fucking know. That's right. Pick up the phone. It's you're talking to her. Exactly. And if she, that ass, had to just fucking say that from the start, we wouldn't have this. <laughs> oh, her little fucking her giggliness is just. Uh. The baby, right? Oh, no, okay. Oh, o Oscar was the baby's name. Thank you. Like, nigga, duh. Right, like, what the fuck you mean? Next, you gonna ask me, nigga, duh. I mean, yeah, true. True. Like, yes, daddy, I value my daddy, but nigga, you my man, I value you too. Like, you should have fucking talked to him about the shit. But it's fine. Again, we over it. For the special episodes of We Best Love Number One for You. Listen, he know his man's. Listen, you gonna cook, but you gonna wash some dishes. Yes, you do, bitch. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. 
what is this song, you guys? What is this acoustic instrumental? Because it's not the same song from the um, the the guy that sings the OST, the one y'all told me about last time. You know, like lowest of the low key. They did good casting because that nigga low key that they could be his daddy. Cause you fucking stupid. Oh, what a sweet fucking child! See a brat, but that's a loving baby. Oh, listen, you ain't listen. Y'all know how I'm about mama shit. Don't don't start trying to bring up mama into this bitch to just try to smooth a bitch over. Cause you still fucked up, but don't you do this to me. I... Don't do it. Fuck this nigga, don't do it. Don't y'all talk about the mamas. Oh my God, I feel it coming. Um. Nigga, he still love you. That's you, his fucking daddy. But you got to know that you you can't be fucking doing the shit that you do just because you his fucking daddy. That is his life, his booty hole, his nigga. Period. <clears throat> I ain't gonna comment on that. And that's all you should have been worried about. Shipping niggas away for five years. The fuck? You better respond right. You better respond accordingly. You better respond accordingly. Yes, I would love to come. See, that's... If, if baby boy can move past it, then so can I. Because I love this here. I love this. I love how loving they are. And I understand from a daddy perspective you want the best for your child, but nigga, you went up that shit the whole fucking wrong way. The guy again, I know he a concerned daddy, but the moment the moment the golden boy, the nigga she that came with all the receipts, here's my properties, here's my fucking statements, here's this, that, and the third, he should be like, oh, my son got a good one, bitch. I ain't even worried about him no more. Is he not working at the thing no more? Did he just say fuck the office? Is he there part time? Because it is night time, I think. It's like I'm kind of confused on how to feel about them because Dr. Daddy said, no, bitch, I'm, I'm, I have, you know, a mental disorder or whatever, too. Like, I don't really feel feelings like you think I feel feelings. I don't react to shit. It don't really move me like that. So all these smiles and thank yous, I don't know how to feel about this. But did he go in that L sitting? Bitch, we dancing now? Okay, I'm kind of confused. But they didn't, they, we last saw them when he left that nigga outside and was like, don't waste your time on me. Now we all, he, he, and he just said, don't waste your time. I'm not going to fit nothing for you. But now we doing all of this? Okay, I was about to say, wait, what? How the fuck we jump from this to this? Oh, baby, see, that's that's you in your head. It ain't real, baby. Come, come back to reality. Like that's see, that's how you. This is how you gonna end up being fucked up in the head for real, cause you got all these expectations, all these dreams that you want to happen, and the reality don't align with your fantasies. So now you all fucking hurt and shit. But really though, why why Dr. Daddy gotta be so fine? Even from the back, looking like a snack. Hey, 
And um, you know he down. Right, like nigga, you can't sit up here and lie say you don't feel nothing when you did all that shit just because. You know how they tell you to do that? Because I don't know what the Thai BL uniforms look like. So was he actually a high schooler or did he just take care of him at the high school? Because that's a whole different thing. Yeah, like... And you did all that talk about you don't care for him. Oh, no, he was a uh, high school guy. Okay, maybe it was just like a very, like, I, a troubled boy sort of thing. And he was like, let me help you, troubled child. Oh, so he was getting attached. Prob like I said before, he was probably getting attached and was like, uh-uh, hell no, red flag, I gotta go. Especially since he don't feel nothing. The fact that he was feeling something. Maybe Dr. Daddy was feeling a lot. And again, I'm just glad that he recognized it and said no. But he got baby boy looking for him. I just want Dr. Daddy to say yes for you. Because I know he wants to. But you just, baby, you, I didn't like you at first. But now knowing what I know is a like, damn boy. Aww. This boy listen to me. Trembling lips. He about to get me. Where to find a nigga like you on my side? Don't just get up and walk away from him. Daddy is toxic, but he not. He just don't be reacting to shit. Like I just love him, mercy, Jesus.
I didn't like you, little nigga. But I fear for you, though. Because that nigga is too damn fine and impacted your life so fucking much. And he just acting like how he fucking acting like shit don't fucking matter for fucking nothing. <sighs> Both of y'all fucked up in the head, fucked up in the heart. Like, just damn. Okay, 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 all right, all right, B. Why you walking so slow? Nigga, get through the door. Tell me what you waiting for, bitch. Hurry up! <laughs> like, what did you do? All this bright crying and shit you doing, bitch. Get your ass in there. Hurry up. They about to fuck. Maybe not. Maybe. It's the hair. It's the, it's the suits, baby. It's, it's the every fucking thing. That boy cheesy as hell, bitch, but we ain't lactose intolerant. We like dairy products. Oh, where it all started. Where it all started, bitch, in the motherfucking pool. Now, y'all been that motherfucking get them suits wet. Y'all got a fucking speech to go do, so bitch, don't do nothing fucking stupid. This stupid ass nigga. <laughs> stupid. Didn't I just fucking say? Didn't I just motherfucking say don't hop in that goddamn hole? And you gotta give a speech, she I mean fucking she was so you better not hop your ass in there. And you better not pull his ass in there either. Nick, please. Don't you? Hey, but hey, that's right. <laughs> hey, you get your dagger. But you knew he was fucking lying. Like, what? Like, boy. But that's where it all started, bro. That's where it started. Look at that. Look at that smooch. Look at that natural. Mm. You see that? No hesitation. Me and my nigga in this pool where the love, where the first kiss first fucking happened. Again. Your faves. They probably could. Maybe. But they really couldn't help Eat it up. We eat it up. They're just filling us, filling us, serving us. Side dishes, main dishes. Seconds, thirds, fourths. Who the fuck big day? Who? Oh my God, I remember being way, yes, bitch, you know I remember best friend. Is he about to propose? 
Oh my fucking god! Cause I adore them so much too. Oh my goodness. We everybody need a motherfucking spinoff, bitch. Everybody needs one. I want to see Bing Wei and his man. I need this. I need this. Because they are definitely like a more comical couple. So I would definitely love a little rom-com spinoff with these niggas. Just, oh my God. Oh my God. This is going to be so <laughs> Bitch. That's right, why not? Yes, look at the niggas. The baby boys are back on track. They done made up. Bestie couple, bitch. They about to motherfucker take the next step. Dr. Daddy done found Ale and they got down working together. They got just doing it. Just Yes. Tie it up. Tie it together. But I just, I just want to see one kiss from them so that we know it's real. Just one. Because Dr. Daddy over here acting like, I don't feel nothing. Nigga, yes you do. You didn't just help him do all that shit just because. Right, you okay? Them, just two little crazy ass niggas. <laughs> just look how just how attentive he is. Like, oh, just oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love them too. It's a pretty bad ring, but I do. Y'all, is we must love a series because novel wise, I don't know nothing. I just know the drama. I have to know that everybody gets their shit. The story is not over yet. Also, this was meant to be the finale, so episode seven must be the special EP. Oh, look at everybody. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, I need this photo book. Oh my god. Somebody link me to the season two photo book because I need it. I need it. I fucking need it! Oh, bitch. That was so fucking good. shit ever ever we don't even get to see bingway and bestie like all the time and then we just see them like in passing and shit so even to have them get a little moment at the end as well once we tied up the main couple oh that was just oh because oh. even though we don't see them a lot you know the bestie couple definitely makes an impact especially if you've been watching since season one you know the bestie couple they they here okay they they right hand so they deserve their little moment. And I'm just, man, that shit hit me right in the motherfucking heart, bitch. That
that was just the cutest thing. Again, Shuey and Shide are all back in love. They done, they done cleared all the motherfucking air, bitch. We even got motherfucking daddy is on track. He going there having motherfucking dinner with his son-in-law. Because who are we kidding? They're going to get married. So you might as well start accepting him as your son. Fucking Dr. Daddy and Elle, they got over their shit. They're now a little thing together, which is, we don't, I mean, in their eyes, they're a thing, okay? Because you know Dr. Daddy, he didn't want to be like, oh, be my nigga, da, 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 da. but like he said, he could have just let him walk away. But when he was about to walk away and be like, nigga, I'm done with you, he was like, ahem, L, where you going? Don't you got to come sort this shit out? Bring your ass back in here. That, you know, that was his little way of saying, come on, I accept you, nigga. Come on, you can be by my side. And then just again, to wrap it all up, with the motherfucking marriage proposal at the end for the side couple, the bestie couple. I'm a fool. But, and, and again, I just, man, I, bitch, I just, I, I don't, I just, I can't, words cannot explain how good that episode just made me feel. <sighs> like, I'm excited, and I just, I wonder, my only thing now is episode seven, I did like kind of like click on it and saw that it wasn't that long. It's like 19 minutes compared to the 45 minutes. So I'm wondering and hoping that this is a special EP similar to season one's episode seven was a special EP that kind of linked to season two. So hopefully this special episode will link it to season three, especially with them saying that the story is not over and it's already been rumored that season three is in the works or whatever. So bitch again, the We Best Love team, the gift that keeps on fucking giving you girls just might as well step it onto the side because we best love is taking the year 2021 for BL bitch they came in the game they started the year off strong with number one for you and immediately had fighting mr second in the motherfucking queue ready to be released and now we're getting special episodes for fucking number one for you and and it's talks of season three because bitch, you see the material. Why the fuck would you not give them a season three? So overall, you guys, I'm just, again, we best love fighting Mr. Second, just like we best love more for you, tens across the board, bitch. And with that, you guys, I'm just, I'm just gonna go relish in this BL gay high that my boys have put me on. And I'm gonna enjoy my day. But you bitches, my bitches, again, don't forget to sound off in the comments, girl. What did you think about this episode? What did you think about the finale? What do you think about Dr. Daddy and Elle's relationship? How do you feel about B-Wayne's proposal? Let me know down below, bitch, and let me know what do you think about the special episodes, girl. Again, keep it locked, keep it loaded, keep the post notifications on, because your boy is going to be on that shit. And what do you guys think about the Korean BL drama like on me? Do you want me to react to it? Do you want me to review it? Sound off in the comments, let a bitch know, because bitch... You stay ready. And again, 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 I cannot thank you lovelies, my darlings, my judies, my bitches, my queens, my kings, all of y'all. 2,000 subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye.